Okay, so this one it's got a good agitator. You can see. If it's uh, if it doesn't turn the uh, bottom part when you go this way, you got a problem. It needs new agitator dogs. So what happens is when we turn on the spin, it spins really slow. And if I put my hand back here to try and slow the barrel down, it slows down quite abruptly. See, it doesn't, it's not even spinning now. If we spin it, we'll spin. We try and stop it with the hand, it stops. So basically, it needs a clutch. Here's one clutch here. This clutch here. This is what the clutch looks like. And so what we'll have to do is we'll have to take the agitator off. And then we'll have to remove the, or loosen the transmission, the motor, etc. Everything is accessed pretty much from the bottom. There's a 7 16 bolt that holds this on. We'll have to take that loose. And we'll see what happens. It's Kenmore. Okay, so we got the transmission out. And also, if your machine clunks real, real abruptly and makes a funny noise when it stops, you might take some of this with that needle. Spray a little bit up in here. That will stop that clunky noise. Um, this is the brake. You don't want to get any oil on the clutch itself. There's your clutch right there. And uh, we have to take that out and clean it, look at it, and possibly replace it. Sometimes you can stretch the spring. These clutches have a spring on them. So the spring, sometimes you can just clean them. This one's pretty worn. You can see the brass. It's worn down to the brass. If it looks like this, where you don't have a worn brass, you could possibly clean it and stretch that spring in to make it work again. Um, you also want to clean this bell here as well. And uh, anyway, let's look at that clutch see what we got. Okay, so also I teach a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. And so if you're interested, give me a, a contact or a call. Mr. Maintain at Hotmail, 707-443-8347. Also, I do local service and give, give phone advice for $35. So here's the clutch basically. On this clutch here, it doesn't look too bad. It's not greasy or oily. It is a little bit worn. And if we look up in here, we'll see if this has any oil on it. If the clutch has any oil on it, and we can uh, clean the oil off. I usually rough this clutch up. So basically, I'll take some sandpaper and rough it up a little bit so that that clutch grabs next time. Okay, so we're not going to mess with this clutch. We're just going to probably replace it. Okay, so here's a new clutch. This clutch here is actually a Chinese clutch. They opted to add more uh, clutch pads on them, which is probably a good thing. I'm still going to rough this up a little bit. It looks a little bit shiny. Old school, well, this was actually the old school design. They came out with these and used these for quite a few years. They only had three pads on them. And then uh, these ones here I ordered on eBay from China. Now they've got like... They went back to the old school six pad thing. So basically, we put this on here first, around, and then we put the spring on and we clamp it and push it back down into the bell. Okay, we got the clutch on, and uh, some of these will actually have a uh, capacitor down on the motor. You want to mess, you, you want to leave that capacitor alone as much as you can when you drop that motor and transmission because those capacitors fall apart sometimes. Um, so if you disconnect the capacitor down there uh, near the motor, be very careful with it because they'll fall apart real easy. Let's give it a quick try before we put everything back together. Let's take a look at this. This door switch has been bypassed already, so I can look at this thing with the door open. You can see it took right off now, so that's a good sign. It doesn't slow down when I put my hand on it. So I think this one's good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, I give phone advice for $39, 707-443-8347.